Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're riding America's Railroad from Durango to Cascade Canyon in Colorado. We're Steve and Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. This is the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. If you've ever wondered what it's like to travel by train during the Golden Age, this is your chance to experience it. And it's not just the authentic train ride. The railroad is dedicated to preserving the history and full experience right down to the train station and uniforms of railroad employees. The icing on this cake is a ride behind a historic engine chugging away through the ruggedly beautiful San Juan National Forest while observing awesome mountain vistas as well as breathtaking gorges paralleling the Animas River. To be honest, we were riding the train about equally for both reasons, as well as for me to photograph the trip. Because we have Heinrich and didn't want to leave him for the time required by the Silverton route, we chose to take the Cascade Canyon Express. It's a five hour ride from Durango to the canyon. The train stops for 30 minutes so you can stretch and explore. If you want to kill two birds with one stone, you can ride the train from Durango all the way to Silverton, where you get a two-hour layover to enjoy this historic mining town before returning to Durango. This trip is a total of seven hours. If you want to kill three birds with one stone, you can take the Skyway Tour. This summer and fall tour lets you ride the train from Durango to Silverton and then ride a bus back to Durango on the southern section of the Million Dollar Highway. You can even spend the night in Silverton and ride the bus back the next day. The railroad was founded in 1879 by the Denver and Rio Grande Railway. By 1881, the railroad reached Durango, and by 1882, the tracks to Silverton were completed. The railroad was built to transport silver and gold ore mined from the San Juan Mountains. The route through the narrow Animas Canyon, which has steep granite walls, required a labor crew made up of mostly Chinese and Irish immigrants. They blasted the canyon cliffs off and left a narrow, level shelf to lay tracks. Grading was completed by late spring 1882. The Silverton branch, as it became known, struggled following the panic of 1893 and the end of free coinage of silver. The line faced sagging revenue due to ever-declining mining ventures, highway trucking competition, and insignificant passenger revenue. Annual snow slides and several major floods on the branch would only continue to challenge the railroad's ability to survive. After World War II, domestic tourism began to grow across the country. Bolstered by national exposure via Hollywood movies being filmed along the line in the late 1940s, the railroad created the Silverton, a summer-only train service, on June 24, 1947. A short time later, the railroad adorned a locomotive and four coaches with a colorful yellow paint scheme and launched modest public promotion. With this effort, the painted train officially started a new era of tourism that continues to this day. Freight traffic, however, continued to decline, and during the 1950s, the Silverton operated as a mixed train. 
In June 2018, the railroad shut down for several weeks due to a wildfire, named the 416 fire, which was fought by two air tankers, six helicopters, and some 400 firefighters on the ground. The railroad's coal-burning steam locomotives were suspected of sparking the blaze. An estimated 54,000 acres of the San Juan National Forest were burned, with losses estimated at more than 31 million. Given the fire risk from coal cinder sparked wildfires, the railroad's owner invested several million dollars to replace coal power with oil power for its steam locomotives. The 45 mile journey begins as the steam powered train chugs out of the station and through downtown Durango. For each street intersection, the train's whistle sounds, an audible reminder of a bygone era. In just a few minutes, cars in parking lots give way to horses in pastures along the Animus River. Eventually, the train begins climbing toward Animus Canyon and the gorges. From this point on, every turn provides a postcard-perfect scenic image. Extra special moments and scenes are provided by the long sweeping curves in the track where you can see the length of the train, including the engine, with gray smoke billowing from its stack. Traveling up the High Line, a stretch of track carved into a cliff 400 feet above the river gorge, is a wow moment that literally takes your breath away, especially if you look straight down. When you get back, be sure to visit the depot. Its roundhouse has a free museum filled with railroad artifacts. And daily at 10.30, 12.30, and 2.30, it offers tours of the yard and roundhouse. Since the museum is only open from 10 to 5, you won't be able to tour it on the day you ride the train unless you ride the Cascade Express. The museum doesn't open until after the trains leave and closes before the Silverton train returns. There are several classes of tickets, but basically you can sit inside near a window, or you can sit outside with no glass or glare. The flip side, of course, is you're exposed to the sun and weather. We sat outside when we rode the train September 8th, and the weather was absolutely perfect. The gorges along the Animus River are the reason to ride the Durango and Silverton to Cascade Canyon, in my opinion. But coming in a close second is Cascade Canyon itself. Besides the train, you're out in the middle of wilderness of pristine beauty and no other indications of man and civilization. In other words, a very peaceful place to enjoy without a rigorous hike commonly necessary in the Colorado mountains. Thanks for watching our latest episode of Cruising America. To see more of our videos, click the link to our channel in the description below. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button, then click the bell next to it. YouTube will then send you emails telling about our new videos once they're posted.